Okay, this is a uh, Fuyu persimmon being grafted onto the Native American persimmon rootstock. You can see the top of the graft there with some tape on it. Down here at the bottom, you can see where I've nicked back the rootstock here and it's almost ready to separate so we'll be doing that this morning. In between there are some areas where you can see the new callus formation which of course is important to note before you finally separate the two trees because all the nutrition for the top is going to have to come through these areas of new callus formation. This is probably a five or six inch long graft and the entire graft has not taken just three or four spots in the middle, which will be enough to ensure the union of these two, provided we're careful and keep the tape on for a little bit longer. I've learned through bitter experience that sometimes the deer will come along and browse and will tear your graft apart. But here's an area of nice new callus formation. You can see the callus in persimmons is black, whereas in citrus it's always white. Here's another nice area where you can see the bump where the two sticks have grown together. Down here it's grown together pretty good and also here. Of course below the tape we don't know what's going on. So now we're going to take our little hacksaw blade and finish this, this nick. Sometimes I do this with a knife or clippers, but it's easy to damage the other side by going through too quickly, so usually I use a hacksaw blade. And there it goes. Kind of a dull blade, but it went through. Now this tree is totally separate. It'll survive on its own. It has probably two feet of growth on the top. You can see here and it should do fine. We'll leave it right where it is for a day or two though. You can see there was some gravity pull on this old graft. Now that it's been disconnected, it is free of that pull. So now if, it, if the top begins to wilt, we will pinch back leaves or put a plastic bag over it to retain moisture. But I think this graft is probably just fine. It'll be ready to be planted as a new tree. Here it is in a five gallon bucket. So, good luck grafting.